Inakuwaje tuwango nguvu, mina itua presenter Ali, your entertainment PA, the A's for amazing, tuko maineo ya Garden City, first floor, maineo ya Dent Mind, Dental Care, Healthy Smiles. Tumikuja hapa kwa ajili ya kupigia story na the dentist amba yuko hapa. And of course, for you to also experience what exactly goes on in a dental clinic. Na upate kufahamu mambo mengi zaidi kusu your dental health. Kwa hivyo kama umekua na shida yoyote tu ya meno, ama unamjua mtu yote, awe ndugi yako, rafiki yako, mzazi, even your brother or sister ambaye anakuwa na shida ya meno this is the time for you to be keen yeah na kama alivyo kujuza tuko maeneo ya garden city first floor inaitwa dent mind dental care and of course uh, i want to have a conversation with the dentist mwenyewe atuambie so much about our dental health how are you doing i'm good how are you niko poa the place looks amazing karibu sana hey, what's your name pengine uji introduce kwa watu um dr mwende mm -hmm. i'm the ceo of dent mind dental center Garden City Mall. Wow. Yes. Amazing. Pengine yes. tuketi, tupigie story kidogo. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's why you decided to become a dentist. Yes. Kwa hivyo hujawahi kuwa na ndoto nyingine in your life to be something else. <laughs> so funny enough, I was like if uh, probably I don't become a dentist, I would be uh, uh, you know a quantity surveyor. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm more into things that are to do with uh, you know um, what do I say? Art. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was like, if, I'm, if I don't become a dentist, I will completely leave the medical field and be a quantity surveyor. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And uh, at what point, uh, I, I believe that you started as someone who was employed. Yes, yes. Tell us about that. <laughs> so now, uh, after, I, after internship, I did my internship at Kenyatta National Hospital. I think uh, that was in the year 2019. Mm -hmm. And then after that, there was no employment. Like, mm -hmm. we were not getting, like... Uh, government jobs so that time you get to work with other dentists in private clinics so I used to do uh, lots of locums that time I did uh, locums at uh, you know dentists who have like done a lot of private practice so I gained a lot of experience in private practice I also used to you know uh, lead some dental clinics in some upcoming medical centers so i gained a lot of experience in our private practice but generally uh, i didn't like get any stable job to be like employed and all that so that's how i decided to do my own thing and that's how dent mind came about wow. amazing so it's been here for like two years two years now yes wow. and how has the experience been and also the you know customer feedback uh, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. Like when we started, we were very young. Uh, but now, you know, you see the growth and you're like, wow, this is what I always wanted to be. Uh, because when I started, I wanted something that is going to challenge me to be uh, a better dentist. You also want to challenge yourself career-wise. So that's why I actually chose to be here. Because I knew that it's going to push me to work harder, to deliver better, to be a good dentist. So the growth has been good. We get lots of reviews. You'll see our customers feedback form people are really happy to be here at dent mind we give our best we are professional we are well trained we know what you're doing so yeah the the feedback is really amazing i think i'll show you the the feedback okay. as a dentist what would you say is one of the main uh, you know dental health problems affecting kenyans so now uh for Kenyans, there's, there's quite a lot. There's quite a lot. What I would first say is that uh, Kenyans tend to think that dental treatment is for the privileged, you know, the rich and all that. But I believe that it's quite affordable. And the most, most common uh, dental issue you'll find with almost everyone is dental decay. That is cavities. You find that your teeth are sensitive, they are painful. So most people come with the chief complaint of pain or sensitivity when you're eating and you're biting. So that is what we get mostly with uh, most Kenyans. Also the issue of gum disease and uh, also um, nowadays these like people are really appreciating the fact that they want their teeth aligned and they want to look good. Also they want their teeth brighter, especially people who come from areas that have salty water, they have fluorosis, they come and say, Doc, I want my teeth to be whitened, so we do whitening and veneer. So there's a lot, there's a lot that's happened. Yeah. Yes. What do you normally recommend for someone who wants to whiten their teeth? Should they go for the veneer one or should they, should they do the, the normal whitening? So whitening now we usually uh, have to assess you, we have to examine your teeth. For people who have, because when you're grading staining, we usually 
it comes in grades. So you find people, some people have very tiny, tiny uh, areas that are dull. So those ones just do the, the blue light activated whitening. But now for people who have fluorosis and their, their teeth are really stained and they're brown, now that stage you usually go to veneers or we do crowns. So it depends on the extent. You have to come first, we examine you, and then we see the best outcome for you. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Sana. Kwayo, right now at Wangongovu, we are about to actually see or know what actually inside a dental clinic. For most of you who have been here, Amambo Washe Kuingia Kwa Dental Clinic, probably you know, but this is for someone by Pengini Hajawai Kuingia and Angependa Kufahamu Ndani Kuna Fahamu Kuna Kuna Kavipi. Mwende, let's do this. Okay. okay. So the first time when you come, they'll come at the reception. Mm -hmm. You will find these uh, amazing ladies. Mm -hmm. They will come, they'll ask you what you want to do or what's the issue. Mm -hmm. And then uh, most of the time they'll ask you if you're paying by insurance or cash mm -hmm. because you also accept uh, lots of insurances. Mm -hmm. Then from there we usually give you um, a biodata form for your details you fill and recapture. Mm -hmm. And then from there they'll proceed now to the, to the dental chairs. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Should we go? Yes. Okay. Yes. So basically this is the first room, the uh -huh. first two rooms here, yes. this is room one, mm -hmm. so when you come inside, mm -hmm. you just find like the chair, mm -hmm. this is where you sit, mm -hmm. that, like your, my nurse will sit you here, mm -hmm. and then we have a, a desktop there, yeah. that is basically where our software is, mm -hmm. so you can just come close and come and see what really happens here, mm -hmm. it's like a desktop, we mm -hmm. usually have our softwares here, mm -hmm. we have this x-ray software, mm -hmm. such that when you check the x-ray from the patient, it just comes here, let me show you a sample, yeah, mm -hmm. just a minute, yeah, so okay. basically this, so we have a uh, X-rays on. This is just a desktop to mm -hmm. assist the dentist to make their work easier. Okay. So that is what basically what's here, and then lots of materials that we use for you. They're usually stored in the cabinet so mm -hmm. that they don't get contaminated. So what's this called? It's called a dental chair, basically. Okay. <laughs> it's a dental, it's a dental chair. chair. You're not going to find it anywhere. You'll always find it with the dentist. Yeah. Yes. So this and is where basically someone sits. That's where someone sits, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes we do when we're doing the light activated whitening. Mm -hmm. We usually use this bleaching light. Yeah. It's here, so it's usually very good. It makes the whitening faster. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it, does it have any effects? No, 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 no side effects. No side effects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only that during the whitening you may get some mild sensitivity, mm -hmm. which disappears after a few hours. Yeah. But there's no side effects at all. Oh, you can tell us what these are. <laughs> So now, <laughs> how, do I, how do I start? So this is like a curing light. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're doing composite, mm -hmm. you have to like point the light at the composite. Mm -hmm. This is the area. Now this light usually makes the, the feelings harder. Mm -hmm. So this is just a curing light. Mm -hmm. This is something we call a three-way syringe. There is air here and then there is water. So okay. basically when you're cleaning, we use this water. It's distilled water. It's Mm -hmm. usually put in the, you know, it's part of the chair, so it's mm -hmm. distilled water. So sometimes mm -hmm. when you come and you feel like swallowing, you can swallow because it's not contaminated. Okay. It's not tap water, it's distilled water. Okay. It comes from here. These are the bottles that's the water. Okay. And this is called a suction mm -hmm. tip. This basically removes the, mm, the, saliva. the saliva from your mouth, so it's a sucker. You know, okay. like, if you have some water here, it will just suck it out. Let me show you how it works. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like that. So that's how it sucks the oh, water from your mouth. Yes, 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 yeah, okay. yeah. And the last one? The last one is a high volume suction. Mm -hmm. This one is usually used for surgeries, but it has to be connected to a high volume uh, compressor. Yeah. Okay. Are those the same? Those are the same like there, but now here we have, these are for the nurse, mm -hmm. and these are for the dentist. Okay. <laughs> So now here we have other things we call the same like the three way uh, syringe. This one, mm -hmm. this is for scaling. This is for cleaning. Call it a scalar tip. Mm -hmm. So this is what we use for cleaning. Mm -hmm. And then this is called uh, this is a handpiece for you know polishing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one is a slow speed handpiece we use for polishing your teeth. Mm -hmm. And then this is a high speed handpiece. This one that we use for doing fillings. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You talked about the X ray. Mm -hmm. How does it work? Now the x-ray is 
usually connect, we have an x-ray room mm -hmm. on the other side. Mm -hmm. So this is a system whereby when you take x-rays from the other side, mm -hmm. they come to this. Mm -hmm. These are desktops so that the dentist can work faster. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can show you the x-ray room. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Okay. okay. So this is now the x-ray room. Are we allowed to enter? Yes, you can come. In. Okay, okay. So you can come in. So now this is called uh, a CBCT x-ray. Okay. It takes like uh, how many? It takes three x-rays at once. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very advanced machine. Mm -hmm. You're not likely to find it like anywhere, mm -hmm. like everywhere. So it takes one, mm -hmm. a 2D x-ray called mm -hmm. an OPG. Mm -hmm. I can show you a sample OPG mm -hmm. oh, like this one. This is an OPG, this is a 2D x-ray, mm -hmm. and then it also takes a 3D x-ray. So this is real, it was taken from, a sam from someone? Yeah, this is a patient's wow. x-ray. So this is a 3D x-ray, you mm -hmm. know, you can just convert and see all sections in mm -hmm. all corners, you know. Okay. Yeah, so that's how it looks like. Mm -hmm. And then it's just, it also takes another x-ray called uh, a lateral cuff mm -hmm. for people that uh, need braces. Mm -hmm. Let me just see if I can find one. Mm. 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 There's a, a, another one. Uh, the data is all over, but it also takes another X-ray called the yeah. lateral cuff. Mm -hmm. So basically, this is the X-ray area. Wow. Yeah, this is amazing. And probably Pengin and Kiuliza, mm -hmm. you know, as you as as you said, many people normally think that this is for the privileged. Yes. How are the prices like for Dent Mind? So the prices are usually we are very affordable. Mm -hmm. We want everyone to get dental treatment. Mm -hmm. Our consultation is one thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, cleaning basically we start from six thousand, mm -hmm. and you know these x-rays two thousand three thousand depending on the on, on what we, we want because the three D ones will cost uh, from six thousand. Mm -hmm. So it's something that people can you know appreciate. You can come for checkup. You can get cleaning. You can get white. We do fillings with 6,000, mm -hmm. so it's very affordable. Wow. Yes, and uh, tell us uh, a few misconceptions that people normally have about how um, you've heard about you know the, the, the dental industry. Uh, so the first one is like, uh, you know, uh, dentists are rough, mm -hmm. dentists are not kind people, don't go to the dentist, you're going to ruin your day. Mm -hmm. So that's something that actually people believe, but uh, uh, I think it's it's different nowadays. Mm -hmm. We try to be very gentle, we try to, you know, even us as humans, we want you to, to have a good experience. So once you come, we try to be gentle, we use... Uh, painless injecta injection techniques. We make sure that uh, before you get numbed, you're already numb so that you don't feel a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. And uh, we try to reassure you so that your dental treatment can be very, very uh, comfortable. Mm -hmm. The other thing that people usually say is, uh, you know, when you're pregnant, you can't go to the dentist. Mm -hmm. It's 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. it's very funny because uh, we try to protect you as a mother and your child. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to minimize uh, things that can cause harm to your child. You know, like X-rays. Mm -hmm. We don't take X-rays during your first and third trimester, mm -hmm. but during the second trimester, it's safe to take an X-ray, like a dental X-ray. Mm -hmm. So if you have trouble during your first and uh, third trimester. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are treatments, there are other technologies that we use, like for a root canal. Mm -hmm. We don't have to like explore the technologies that we use to make sure that your root canal still goes on well. So yeah, so you can still visit the dentist when you're pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. You told me that one should always go for a cleaning once every six months. Yes, you're well, supposed to come to the dentist uh, every six months mm -hmm. or at least at least once a year. Yes, yeah. 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 What, what other things must people know probably which are basic about, you know, <laughs> their dental health? So basically it's just like the cleaning. You need to come and visit your dentist uh, every six months. Mm -hmm. Uh, this kind of cleaning, you know, it's it's more prevention rather than treatment because you'll be like, ah, my teeth are very clean. Mm -hmm. uh, it's six months down the line. I don't want to go to the dentist. Yeah. So it's it's something that has to be done every six months so that we prevent. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other thing is just how to brush. Don't brush in horizontal motions. Mm -hmm. Do small circular motions so that you're able to protect your gum and also your tooth. Mm -hmm. uh, if you people are really using Sensodyne every now and then, if you're having sensitivity, the first thing if you have sensitivity, go to the dentist. You need 
need to be examined and we need to know the cost of the sensitivity before you start using sensodyne for the rest of your life because actually sensodyne is not supposed to be used every day mm -hmm. it's supposed to be used if recommended by the dentist mm -hmm. yes so wow. yeah wow. thank you very much i hope kwamba mejifunza mengi mimi nimejifunza mengi and i'm actually going to be seated on that dental you said it's a dental chair yes. i'm actually going to be seated on that dental chair i want to whiten my teeth so guys you're going to see the transformation right there mm -hmm. so for anyone ambaye anataka kuja hapa dent mind pengine eh, unaweza ukatupatia details the location yes. and probably the contact information okay so we are located at uh, garden city mall first floor uh, we are called dent mind dental center our phone number is 0705 555088 yes karibuni sana yeah number nitaika pale kwenye screen hakikisha kwamba ukipiga simu unasema kwamba umetumwa na the entertainment pa from me to you i want to tell you guys this is the place you should come nataka ku experience and then i'll also let you guys know about my experience so thank you so much munde and i'm looking forward to the then to sitting on that dental chair <laughs> see you guys <laughs>